hi there this is Amir and this is the continuation of the mail merge video that I just created so if you haven't watched it you might want to watch the part one uh, in which I just talked about what mail merge is how to use it and we just started the process and we've gone through the first creation of the first file which is the source data and this is the second file the generic letter and we are about to type it so this is the step four of the process we have our mail merge toolbar and this is where you start seeing the buttons for it to insert the mail merge fields now one of the buttons that is missing in the mail merge toolbar which I personally like to have is the insert merge field it's the fields that we need to add to this letter so I go here and I click on add removes button mail merge and then I check mark the last option there insert merge field just gonna show it again this button add remove mail merge and then right there insert merge field I'm gonna click it and now there is the insert merge field button there so now I'm just gonna do like a simple letter which will have the addresses on the top and then the salutation and then a few lines of the letter so right there I want to do insert title now if you remember I had added the period when I wrote down my names and addresses so I'm not gonna put a period here and then I put a space and then I insert first name space insert last name make sure you are putting a space otherwise there will be n all the words and everything will be jumbled together I press enter in the next line I'm gonna add I can put the company name if I want it enter insert address line enter insert city comma space insert province enter insert country or zip code if you need or postal code whatever you call it so now this is the format for the address on the top I'm gonna just gonna press enter a few times and now I can just do the salutations like dear space insert title space and their last name so dear mister miss last name press enter and I'm just gonna write a simple letter so So up here I've just typed up um, a few lines, I'm just said in writing and the date and stuff like that. So we've actually inserted what we need and the letter we need to type. So whatever you need to do, you can go ahead and enter it he right here at this part. And if you follow my mouse, and I'm just going to click, point to this button right here, it says ABC on the toolbar and it says view merge data and I click it now you will find that up here in the place of title and first name it actually puts the name so it just shows you what your information will look like so you can have a look at it make sure it looks okay I can click on that view merge data button again now it comes back so at this part we've actually finished everything we need to do so now we go to the next letter next step so there is step 4 and I say next preview your letter and it will show me the letter now the next part is complete the merge so I click on that now if I was ready I could just click on print but I'll just click on edit individual letters it is asking me do you want all of them or if you had like one to a thousand and you only want it from one to two hundred you could put it in the from section but we're just gonna say all and I'm gonna click OK so now this is the final letter so if I want I'm gonna go ahead and click the save button and I'm gonna call it final 
donor letter save so if I scroll down I go to the next page now this is my first letter scrolling down I come to the second page with the second name and if I go to the next page this is the third and I can go further down this is the fourth so this is our mail merge complete and you can print this and if you wanted to add more names you can go to the donor list and add more names to it and get more names out there so this is pretty much mail merge I'm gonna close out of this completely and I'm gonna show you how to use an existing file that you already have and I'm gonna show you how to make a envelope out of it so let's see how to make envelopes using mail merge so I go to tools letters and mailings mail merge now this time I want to do envelopes so I'm gonna click on envelopes now again click next on the bottom I can choose existing document or I can choose the document layout so right there this is fine I can go to envelope options up here I can choose the size of the envelope the font of the addresses and things like that you can change that options just gonna click cancel up here right now the next step is select recipients so I click it it's again asking me that same question what I was just looking at I'm just gonna click OK now in the select recipients you've got the option to use an existing list outlook contacts or type a new list so I'm gonna choose the option use an existing list and I'm gonna click on browse because I need to tell the computer where the file is so I click browse I'm gonna go to my documents I'm gonna look for the folder donor list so I double click on it and right there there is my sourced donor list source data and I click open when I open it it shows me the phone names that I had typed earlier and I'm going to click OK to that so I've already selected the list now the next step is to arrange your envelope click on it now if you want it on the left hand corner you can actually go ahead and type your name and return address I'm gonna go ahead and do that the information that I typed is looks too small but I've actually just typed my address on the left hand corner so that each and every envelope will have it now I'm just gonna come and click in the middle and I, I'll see this box that's where the return the person that you are sending the address to the senders address will come in so now what I can do is I can again look for the toolbar which I see is missing so I'm gonna go to view toolbar and I click on the word mail merge now I'm gonna go to insert merge field and I'm gonna put the title space first name space last name so I'm gonna go ahead and create the address one after the other the way I had done before you can press the enter key when you come at the end of the first line insert address enter insert city comma space insert province insert zip code so I'm pretty much decided and set up where my envelope and all the information needs to be now the next step is preview your envelope now you see all the names already there in this case Mr. John Doe now the last step is complete the merge and now if you want you can click on the edit individual envelopes or you can just directly print it let's just have a look at it click all and say okay